This is 1932 D. Lincoln sent in MS-67 red condition. According to Heritage Auctions, the Philadelphia and Denver cents of 1932 and 1933 have long been known as condition rarities, though as David Longy notes in his Complete Guide to Lincoln Cents, 1932 D. has emerged with a slight edge in this respect. The present piece is immensely lustrous and crisply detailed with elegant interplay between the copper orange and peach shadings that mingle on each side. Excellent preservation with I appeal to match. It was sold for $13,800. Number 7. This is 1936 proof Lincoln sent with brilliant finish. Graded as PR66 cameo by PCGS. The mint resumed proof set offerings in 1936 after a two-decade hiatus. The collecting public was preoccupied with the commemorative craze at the time, and this initial proof offering gathered little attention. A small mintage of 5,569 proof Lincoln cents was accomplished, split between the satin finish and brilliant types. The present coin is a magnificent example of the second type, with sharply detailed design elements and surfaces that are virtually free of post-striking impairments. It was sold for $21,150. Number 6. An error 5 cent piece. 1924 Buffalo nickel struck on a cent planchet. Graded in mint state 67 red and brown by PCGS. Any buffalo nickel on a cent planchet is extremely rare. This sensational piece is very nicely centered with all details on the planchet, save for the extreme outer curve of the bison's tail. The strike is bold as it should be when a copper planchet is struck by a press intended to strike the harder nickel alloy. Both sides exhibit satin luster and retain about half of the original orange mint color, blended with sky blue toning. It ended up selling for $28,200. Number 5. 1932s Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. The Washington Quarter series, begun as a commemorative design for the bicentennial of the first U.S. president's birth, started with a decently high mintage in Philadelphia but two low mintage branch issues in Denver and San Francisco. This broadly luminous example has pale gold, lavender, and blue hues washing over each side. A typically soft strike is of little consequence, as are any marks. It was sold for $35,250. Number 4. 1923s Lincoln sent in MS-65 red condition. Most red 1923s cents grade only MS-63 or MS-64. Gems are rare. The strike is sharp, and I appeal is outstanding for the issue. Remarkably clean, satiny surfaces display uniform copper red luster and no carbon spotting. Even a 10x loop fails to unearth obtrusive imperfections. It was sold for $66,000. Number 3. 1921 Missouri Half Dollar in MS-66 Plus Condition. Missouri Half Dollar distribution was composed of 9,400 coins with 2-4 in the field and 11,400 plain coins. Both issues are about equally available. Plain examples become rare at the premium gem grade level. Original multi-hued toning includes shades of rose, green, blue, and orange with pale gold tan dominating. Underlying brilliance and frosty luster shine through, accounting for the spectacular visual appeal. It was sold for $70,500. Number 2. This is 1920s Mercury Dime in MS-67 condition with full bands. The 1920s is one of the most significant condition rarities in the Mercury Dime series. For most collectors, it is difficult to acquire a coin as fine as MS-65, especially with full bands, and premium gems are rarities. The coin shown here displays exemplary strike, full central detail on the fasces is clearly delineated. Unlike most examples seen of this issue, the final digit of the date does not fade away into the rim. The pristine surfaces are suffused with satiny mint luster under iridescent shades of lilac and gold toning. The borders display deeper russet and copper orange patina. It was sold for $72,000. Number 1. 1922 No D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. Graded in mint state 65 brown by PCGS. Such a high-grade example affords an unusual opportunity to examine what a no D. Strong reverse scent must have looked like when it was new, though with the understandable mellowing of time. The obverse is a mushy mess, the L in Liberty pulled to the rim and the portrait under detailed, the luster of the whole a quicksilver gloss found only on the most put-upon dyes. The reverse, of course, is far sharper and has a distinct swirl to the underlying luster. 
Carbon is minimal and marks are few on this remarkably well-preserved gem. It ended up selling for $82,250. That's all folks. Stay tuned to CoinOz for more captivating coin-related content. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe buttons. God's will, see you in the next episode.